Okay, so today we're going to continue with cones. Um, and again, this whole thing of similar cones is exactly the same thing we've done the last two sections with similarity of volumes and, and ratios of volumes. Uh, so should be nothing new here. We're just going to breeze through this pretty quickly. Start by finding the scale factor. The scale factor. The corresponding lengths of the radii here. So that's 3 to 9, which reduces to 1 to 3, or if you prefer, 1 to 3 that way. Okay. So the ratio of volumes has to be 1 cubed to 3 cubed, or 1 to 27. We then use that to set up a proportion, small to large, cross multiply, and solve. And here, it's 1 times x, so that's just x. So I just take 27 times 15 pi, 27 times 15, is 405 pi feet cubed. Give it context. There we are. Nothing radical, new, or shocking. You get to try one. This has been a problem like this every day in the review. So hopefully you'll get this set up now. Notice that we have the corresponding heights this time, volume of the big one, the volume here is X. All right. Shockingly enough, the next thing we're going to do is composite figures. Wow, how about that? Okay. Uh, some of you have been struggling a little bit with composite figures, and that's to be expected. So we're going to break it down a little bit more today so we can get everything that we need. Okay. Let's find the volume of this maybe silo type shape. Well, it's not really a semicircle on top, it's more of a cone, but that's okay. You know, odd shape. But we've got a cylinder on top, or a cylinder underneath a cone. So let's start by identifying what kind of base do we have? It is a cylinder. The base area is pi r squared. The radius is 6, so 6 squared is 36, so that's 36 pi meters squared. The height of that cylinder is 5 meters, and the volume is base area times height, no division by 3 because it's a cylinder, not something pointy. It's got two bases, so just base area times height, which would be 5 meters times 36 pi meters, or 180 pi meters cubed. The top part we'll do separately. The shape of the top is a cone. Okay. The base area is still pi r squared, the same radius as we had before. So we already have that. That's 36 pi meters squared. The height of the cone is 4 meters. And the volume is base area times height divided by 3, or 36 pi times 4 divided by 3, which is 48 pi meters cubed. We then go ahead and find our total volume by adding these together in this case. So for, uh, 180 pi plus 48 is 228 pi cubic meters is my total volume. So again, just break it down. I mean, it can look overwhelming to begin with, but it's really not that bad because we just break it down into smaller shapes. Gosh, here's another very similar situation. The base, the shape is a cylinder. The base area is going to be, again, it's a circle, so pi r squared, or 9 pi centimeters squared. The height is 10 centimeters. That's given. And the volume is going to be 9 pi times 10 is 90 pi centimeters cubed, because it's just base area times height. The top, the shape is a cone. The base area is, again, 9 pi centimeters squared. The height this time is 5 centimeters. 
And the volume is something you, the volume is something you need to do. Okay? Actually finding that volume is your next step. Remembering the shape is a cone, so the formula is different than for a cylinder. Don't forget to divide by three. There's your hint. Once you're done, add the volume. Finally, a word problem, because we're going to see a few like this. It says, find the surface area and volume of a right cone with a diameter of, of 8 centimeters and a height of 3 centimeters. So you get a word problem. What do you want to do first? Draw a picture. We've been talking about that all year. So I've got a cone. It is a right cone, so I know it's not oblique. So i got kind of an oval in the bottom there, and there we go. And it may not be drawn even close to scale, but we get the idea. Okay. What facts are we given? We're given the diameter of the base. Oh, the diameter is 8, which means the radius is 4. Okay, it's centimeters. The height of the cone, we're told, is 3 centimeters. I need to find the volume and the surface area. Okay, surface area and volume. So let's start with the volume, because I've got the perfect information for that. Okay. The volume is the base area times the height divided by 3. So that's 16 pi, and please don't ask where 16 pi came from at this point. I certainly hope you know that. Okay, times the height divided by 3. The 3 is cancel, and actually I get 16 pi centimeters cubed. The surface area, okay, is pi r squared plus pi rl. Well, pi r squared we already have, that's 16 pi, plus pi times the radius times the slant height. Ooh, I am going to have to solve that slant height by solving this right triangle. Fortunately, Pythagorean theorem, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals slant height squared. So that's 9 plus 16 is 25. So the slant height is going to be 5 centimeters. Sorry, that was a terrible 5. Okay, not much better. So that's 16 pi plus 20 pi is 36 pi. And centimeters, because it's an area, squared. If you know the formulas, this stuff is a breeze. I mean, it's really not hard at all. If you don't know the formulas, it's nearly impossible. So for probably the 20th time, and I'll probably have told you this in class as well, you need to memorize formulas. And maybe that means that you need to start making yourself some flashcards. We've only got one new section to go. But if you don't know these formulas, you're going to struggle so much. So let's just kind of summarize very quickly a couple formulas we need to know. The area of a circle is pi r squared. And if you don't know these, you might want to make flashcards to have these. Okay? The circumference of a circle is pi times diameter. Okay? The volume of a cone is base area times height divided by 3, but since the base is automatically a circle in a cone, that's pi r squared times height over 3. The surface area of a cone of a right cone, because we can't do it, okay, is that pi r squared plus pi r times l. Now this is in addition to some of our other formulas, like volume of a prism, which is base area times height. And volume of a cylinder 
which is also base area times height, but since the base is guaranteed to be a circle, we could use pi r squared h. And finally, the volume of a pyramid is still base area times height divided by three. So really, you, these two go together, and you don't need to memorize a special formula if you know the area of a circle. And these two go together. They're the same formula. You don't need to memorize a special formula if you know how to find the area of a circle. Okay? So it's not as many formulas as it seems here. Really, you need one, two, three, four, five different formulas there. But you do have to memorize them. And if you haven't done so, please do so as soon as possible if you want to be successful in this section. All right, that's it for today. One section to go.